hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today I just wanted to share with you guys I just wanted to share with you guys a few beauty items that I picked up so one of my stocks was at Sephora and then Ulta and then I just have a couple more items from random items from Walmart so let's go ahead and start with Sephora so I went into Sephora because I had heard that Rihanna was coming out with a makeup line and I wanted to try her foundation out since it, it's really hard for me to get foundation like every foundation I swear that I have just makes my face look orange um, so anyways so I picked up uh, the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna the foundation and this is in the shade 350 and this is what the bottle looks like and it just comes the bottle just has this white top and it has like a frosty clear glass um, it says shake well three thirty two millimeters miller mil, liters and um yeah and it's just a soft matte so when i tried on this foundation in the store and she tested it she tested it on the side of my face she tested about three different shades so this was the shade that i went with and she gave me they didn't have it in store so i had to order it online and the shipping was free it came to me and the next day she gave me a tester so I had a little container full of foundation she gave it to me the next day I went to use it and I hated it like I don't know I just it my face was so orange that it was just ridiculous it was to the point that my husband looked at me and was like what is on your face and I'm the type of person that even though it says I I believe it's um a medium to full coverage foundation it just made I don't know it was it was to me it was more full coverage than medium coverage but I don't like it so I will be taking this back and I don't think that there's any other shade that will fit me so that was the first item that I purchased from there and the other item that I purchased is the concealer and I got it in the shade Carmel. So with the concealer it says long way long wear light as ear layering conceal correct and contour and this is the container that it comes in it's just it's a real pretty um container I don't I like the color of it I don't actually like the container itself because it's just really um it's just really bulky to me I did use it already uh, but this is what the shade looks like and I don't know I just I actually like this way better than the foundation I do have this all over my face right now as a foundation um, it's lightweight it does feel good and this color matches my complexion really really well compared to what the foundation does okay so that was it that I got that I purchased from Sephora but in that trip she gave me a sample of the primer and she also the the lady at the register also gave me a makeup forever ultra HD foundation in the sample size and I mean I guess she just looked at my skin color and figured that I was this dark so it doesn't work so I'm just gonna probably just throw this in the trash okay so also since the foundation from Sephora from Rihanna's line didn't work out. I actually went into Ulta and I purchased this Lorac Lorac Sheer Perfection Foundation, all free, paraben free, fragrance free, and I got it in the shade 
PS7 Golden Tan. And it just looks like this. It's a real lightweight foundation. And I actually like this foundation way better than I like the Rihanna foundation. Now this is a sheer foundation so it looks exactly like my skin and it's not orange. And that's what I was looking for when I was looking for a foundation. I just need a foundation that was not orange. And that worked out perfectly. Okay, and then I also picked up the MAC Prep and Prime, uh, and this is just like uh, the miniature or little sample. I haven't used this before. This is my first time using it, so I'm excited to use this and see what all the fuss is about. Okay, and the last two items that I picked up was this Anastasia Matte Lipstick in the shade latte and i'll show you guys what that looks like and it comes in this cute little container and it's like rose gold at the bottom and it's black okay and this is what the shade looks like it actually looks more um, like it has a more of a purple undertone than it does when it on my hand than it looks it looks like it has more of a purple undertone on my hand but when I put it on my lips it looks a little bit darker okay and then the last item is just the Anastasia Wiz Brow in the color dark brown. And that was just a backup for the one that is almost done. Okay, so I went to Walmart and these are just more uh, hair products. Well, I do got a couple of um, makeup items. So one of the items that I picked up was this Equate brand makeup remover and it was a two pack and I think it was like $5. So I'm just going to give one to my daughter and keep one for myself. And then I also picked up these Kiss True Volume 100% Natural Eye uh, Eyelashes. And that's what these look like. And they're just very, yeah, they're just very natural. And it says that it tapers at the ends. Okay, and to go with that, I picked up the Lash Contour from KISS, the clear um, adhesive, latex-free. So I just picked that up to try that. I haven't tried this yet. I usually just use the Duo and when i went to go pick up the duo they didn't have it so i just decided you know what let me go ahead and try this and it has the brush tip so it'll be easier to apply on the lash okay so i also went to walmart to pick up some hair care items so one of the first things that i got was this can two natural natural can two natural hair coconut curling cream Okay, and I just got this because my hair is naturally curly and I just needed something uh, to keep it looking wet when, when it's curly and this helps a lot with that. And then the other item that I picked up was this Carol's Daughter and I've heard of this brand. I've never used this. This will be my first time using this brand and this is just the Hair Milk Refreshes spray for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. Deeply moisturizes, improves softness, prevents frizz. So I picked this up because with my hair being curly, I feel like I have to wet it every day with water. And that just takes the moisture out. So I just wanted to try something um, other than just water to, to help keep it looking wet and to uh, not dry it out when I refresh it in the mornings. So I picked that up. And then I just picked up 
some hair ties and some bobby pins okay so i almost forgot to show you guys a couple of items some other items that i picked up from amazon and from a company called kiara sky i don't know if you guys have heard about this company uh, but they sell nail polishes basically they sell gel nail polishes they sell do they sell acrylic i'm not sure if they sell like acrylic but they sell the dip powder um yeah it's just called dip powder so i just picked up a couple of items darker colors for the season so it comes in it came in a box and it came with some stuff in it came with um this little book here that shows you and it just shows you the different colors that they have and it came packaged like this okay so i already have the the base and the top coat and some other colors so this time i just like i said i just wanted to get just a darker color for um the season coming up so the first color that i picked up was sweet surrender and this is um a cream and the color number is g544 and it also says color based on it and the reason that it says color based is because technically you don't have to buy when you're per when you're purchasing uh the nail the gel polish you don't have to buy the base this actually has the base inside of it uh so you'll just use this then you'll use your led light to set it and then you will need to have the top coat so you technically don't have to buy the base but i do have the base so this is the first one that i bought and the second one that came in that package is called pixie dust glitter and the number on that is g554 and it's just a it's just a glitter nail polish here and i also picked up the matte tap the matte top coat which i don't care for on natural nails like excuse the nail polish like there's missing on that finger but um i do not like the top coat on the natural nail nails so if i had acrylic it will look way better it just shows too much imperfection of your natural nails so but i'm going to still keep this um i'll link all the information to their website down below they're a great company let me see how much i paid for i know they also sell them on amazon i just haven't purchased it from amazon so each polish is $12.99 and um yeah $12.99 no tax uh shipping was $9.55 but i'll link all the information oh my, my last items that i purchased so this is from amazon and all i purchased was and i think believe these were 7.99 and i'll also link these down below is the they're called reusable keepers well this one's called reusable keepers okay and basically all it is is just in order to take the gel polish off you'll soak your cotton ball with acetone pure acetone or your cotton sheet with pure acetone and then you'll you'll just put it right here and you just stick your finger in and they just kind of clip on to your finger like that so the gel nail polish is easy to come off So this package right here comes with, this comes with 10 and that's for your fingers. It came in a set. All of these came in a set and they were $7.99. And with that came the toenail clip. So those would just be for your toes. Okay, and I think that is all that I got. Yes, that is all I got. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, I will try to link um, some of these items down below. 
I'm pretty sure you guys have probably seen already a couple of different videos on the Fenty Beauty items. Um, so I definitely won't be doing a review on that. I'm actually returning my foundation because it just didn't work out for me. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys so much for stopping by and I hope to see you guys soon. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and um, make sure that you subscribe to see more videos. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.